Seamus, you mentioned Paddy O'Shea there, and you know what a legend, and you know so sad that we lost him so soon. But do you have a, fav a favorite Paddy O'Shea story that you might be able to tell us? Yeah, I will. Like Paddy is uh, was was you know number one was a fantastic manager, and I don't think he got as much credit as he deserved. And uh, but he he was a great tinker of the game. Probably Paddy's biggest weakness was he was from an age where in the 70s you you played the All Ireland in the 70s or in the, in September, and from October, November, December, and January you just went away and did your own thing. You got your team holiday and you came back in January, and you probably were a stone and a half overweight, and you went back training again for four months. Wouldn't look at liquor. The whole thing has changed. And even when we were coming to my end and back in, in even party time, it was changing and players' demands were more more needing and whatnot. But I suppose the, the, the most famous story with party was the time of the, the effing animals and the, and the, the Arctic he did back in 2002 after we losing to Armagh. And I, and I kind of felt sorry for Paulie because he was on his own. He was, he, a, a guy came down, did an article, should have allowed him proofread it afterwards, but he didn't. And I think it just came out badly by Paddy and, uh, and it went to papers and he got an awful going. We were actually in South Africa at the time, uh, but I'd say Paddy wasn't planning to go, but he, he, he jumped on the plane fairly lively, I'd say, with all the hats that he was getting. But we met him out in um, Johannesburg and he was, he was in good fettle now over inside. And at that, actually at the same time, you had Kilkenny hurlers and you had the Dublin senior footballers team staying in, I think it was the Cahillan Hotel it was called or something like that. Cullinan, yes. And uh, so it was just organised chaos there. No, great fun and the whole lot. But I can remember um, Andy Comerford and Charlie Carter were just after coming in from the flight in and they were just came straight into the swimming pool. Lovely, lovely hotel. And they were having a fag and a couple of beers and they were just asking where the good spots to go and what's the crack down in Cape Town and what that. And all of a sudden, Paul, he came in up, the, up from the foyer, up kind of these marble steps. He had the old Kerry Golden Years togs on and the runner's white socks. He had a t-shirt and just took off the t-shirt and he just jumped straight into the swimming pool and was just swimming away. And the boys were just after landing and they were looking at Paddy, swimming all the way up and touched, touched the top, swimming away back up again. And Charlie Carter turned around to Andy Comfort and said, Jesus, this is some spot. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but Paddy, you could write, Paddy did write a book, uh, but he didn't write the proper book. Like he could have, he could have really gone to town, but look, to be fair to him, um, it's a pity that he died back 10 years ago. It's, he's a big loss to GA and uh, you know, look, he's, uh, it's a pity he's not coming up next Sunday. We're actually, we're being rolled out next, uh, next Sunday in 97. So it's a pity he's not part of it, but look, that's the joys of it. Uh, we're, you know, but look, that's the, that's such is life. Just on that, was, was he wrong about the, the animals comment? Your, your supporters are particularly hard on, on your players when you're, when you're not maybe going well. Uh, uh, no, no, he's not really. I, I just think he came out badly. But I think Kerry supporters are very, very critical. They expect a lot. And when you don't perform or if things go wrong, they will, be mic they will micro uh, manage everything and they, they will be very critical. And I think that's the nature of the beast. Uh, I think it's no different to wearing a Manchester United jersey or a Liverpool jersey if you're up at that level and if you want to, if you want to perform at the base of it all the time, there's an expectation to perform and, and to perform well. If you don't do that, albeit as a player or as a manager or anyone part of the team, there's questions asked, simple as, and, and especially, I, suppose, I, I think Paddy, it just came out badly by him. He didn't mean, he didn't mean it, but look, that's just, that's just the way it is. But yeah, Kerry supporters are very, very tough. Uh, but you know that's that's you just have to get on with it. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com/ourgame.